Hey everybody, Kyle here, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Jet Set Radio Future. So, in the last part, we began the game, and there wasn't a lot of action in that part, so... In this part, we're gonna actually get that started. So, uh, enough talking about the, the characters in this game and trivia crap that can be a little boring to people who don't really care. Uh, and on to the game. So here we go, Dogenzake Hills, our first destination. Yo, 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 all right. Let's get this party started. I'll be your audience, so let's see what you got. Mm -hmm. Someone done stole the goddess of the streets, the statue of Dogenzake Hill. I bet the punks who did this are the same ones who are spreading all them nasty rumors. Cover Dogenzake Hill in graffiti and flush out those rumors spreading scumbags. All right, here we go. So, uh, I wanted to play as Yo-Yo for a little bit. Uh, he is the first uh, character that you have to play as. And uh, from the start, like, after you get through that tutorial, you can play as Gum, Corn, or Yo-Yo. But I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and give Yo-Yo some uh, screen time because I'm probably not going to play him uh, that much. And he also uh, does disappear for most of the game. And we'll see more about that later on. I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, but Yo-Yo, you could c consider him the main character because you start out uh, playing him. But, you know, there, there are, like I said, a, there is a point where he does disappear and you won't be able to play him for a while. Um, but yeah, so he was also in Jet Set uh, Radio. I mentioned that a lot of the characters in this game were in Jet Set Radio. Uh, and his his look was a little different, uh, but his premise was kind of the same. I mean, he was, I think he acted as, like, a main character, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, okay, so there was something over here that we could interact with. Uh, let's see. Whoa, someone's kidnapped the goddess. Oh, that was, that was a question, not a statement. Uh, that's bad karma, man, bad karma. So someone apparently stole this statue, and uh, that's kind of uh, an unstated like goal of this first part of the game. We're going to try to find out who stole the statue, pretty much, but more on that later on. Okay, so our goal here, the first time you come into Dogenzaga Hill, is to spray graffiti in marked spots. And we have a map that we can look at for every area, and this map shows the uh, the entrances and exits of the area that we're in so it shows you the areas that connect to your current area and on the map you can also see a bunch of little orange dots and those indicate the the areas that we have to spray paint uh, and there's also uh, bigger orange dots and those are the locations of uh, uh, Souls? Oh my gosh, graffiti souls. Why couldn't I remember what those were called? Oh my gosh, I'm getting old. Uh, <laughs> 22 is old. Uh, yeah, so... You, uh, graffiti souls are something that I'll mention when they become relevant, or when I actually collect one for the first time. But they're, they serve as like the only collectible in this game. But more on those later. So... Yeah, spraying that graffiti. Now, you can actually change the graffiti uh, that you spray, which I find really cool. Uh, but I think for a while, at least, I'm just going to keep the graffiti, the default graffiti, because I, I like it. Especially this uh, big one right here. Let's go ahead and get a view of that. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's got, like, a nice black and, and purple, like, spacey background. I don't think it says anything in particular, um, but it is pretty cool looking. The other graffiti I guess I don't really care about, and I could change that uh, earlier on, but eh, I don't think I care about it that much. Uh, so as you're going through here, make sure you don't forget any of this graffiti, because you can actually get through Dogen Saga Hill pretty quick if you just don't miss any graffiti um, and have to go back for it. So my goal is to actually get through this first part of uh, this first trip to Dogenzaga Hill um, before the end of this part. So let's see. 
Um, more spray paint here. And the music in this game is amazing too. Uh, and one thing I should mention is that as I play through this game, you're going to see uh, things pop up. I, I think there's going to be at least one every video uh, for like the first, I don't know how many videos. But I'm basically going to be giving you some uh, trivia about the music that's in this game too. Uh oh. Hmm, well, I guess we already flushed them out, so to say that we're going to flush them out is kind of a, a wrong statement. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to have some trivia about uh, certain songs that are playing, and I should have a little bit of trivia uh, for each song, and I'll talk more about that um, at a later point as well. Okay, so after we spray those 16 points, this guy appears. What are you looking at? Um, well, I'm looking at a guy who's got some pretty funky, uh, earphones, it looks like. And I would not mind wearing a pair of those, uh, in person. Well, maybe I would, because I'd look pretty odd if I, if I wore those. I mean, look at them, they've got, like, spikes. You could, like, poke someone's eye out with those. Um, but I would look pretty cool, I would say. Well, maybe to some people. You talking to me? Yeah. Uh, this guy's name, well, I guess, I guess we'll talk, we'll talk about who this guy is when we actually, um, finish what we're doing with him. So, sometimes when you meet AI, you're gonna have to do these little, like, challenges, uh, for them. So sometimes it's a race, sometimes it's just following their movements, uh, sometimes it's, like, a timed challenge. Uh, but for this one, it's just following what he's doing. And then we have to go catch up with them. So he is back, basically, where Dogen Zaga Hill began. The little punk, Beat, uh, took off toward the sewer. You might want to chase after him. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Thank you, Mr. Professor K. Uh, and if this is a sewer, it's a very dry sewer. Um, I don't know what that means exactly. Hey, brief update for you. The graffiti point right in front of your eyes is not the regular kind, but it's a so-called graffiti stop. You can switch your character or save game data here. Cool, huh? A start uh, bubble pops out once you get close to the site. Press start to sneak into the main menu. You'll find one of these in each stage. Haha, <laughs> sometimes you'll find two actually. Um, so yeah, if we spray it, uh, we get a menu that has uh, these two options actually unlocked. Because you can you can just pause the game, and I, I showed that off earlier. And, uh, you can pause the game and see the map. Uh, but when you're at these points, you can actually have the option to change your character or save the game. So let's go ahead and do that, actually, um, just in case something happens. Uh, okay, so the GG notebook, uh, that's not really important right now, and it probably won't be for a while. Um, but more on that when it becomes relevant. And if we go to change our characters, we can play as Gum or Corn. And I think I'm going to stick with Yo-Yo for now. Um, okay, so let's talk to Beat. Hey, I've heard of you. You're one of the GGs, huh? Tell you what, I'll race you. If I could beat you in a race around Dogenzaga Hill, then this place belongs to me. Got it? Um, which is chosen? <laughs> um, that might be a translation error. It might just say mean to say, like, which do you choose? Um, but I'm just going to say yes. I don't know what happens if you say no, but I don't want to find out. Hope you won't regret that. Okay, so now we have our first race challenge. Uh, so race a lap around Dogenzaga Hill. So this isn't really that hard of a thing to do. Um, I mean, some of the races in, in the other areas can be a little difficult. Especially if it's an area that's just really convoluted. But Dogenzaga Hill is pretty straightforward. So I don't really see this being a problem. Uh, now, a little bit of trivia about Dogenzaga Hill. Um, it's actually based off of an area in Tokyo. Oh, he just uses speed up. I didn't know the uh, AI could do that. But I guess if we want to beat him, we'll have to do one of our own. Um... Yeah, no, I, the, 
like I said, this race is easy, so it's not even a problem even if you don't use your speed ups at all. Um, and another thing you can do if you want to really make sure that you win this race is just make these jumps right here. Because you can cut out like a whole little bit of the race because the, uh, the AI, in particular Beat, um, he actually goes all the way around these, or all the way down these, I should say. So, yeah, that's the best way to do it. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, Dogenzaga Hill is actually based off of an area in Tokyo. Uh, and it's actually called uh, Dogenzaga. It's a little neighborhood in Shibuya, Tokyo. And I guess it's the, the name Dogenzaga comes from uh, some infamous monk from way back in the day. Um, that's all I really know about that. There's a whole story behind it, and if you want to know what that is, I guess just look up, um, Dogenzaga Tokyo or something like that. Um, but, uh, I, apparently Dogenzaga in Tokyo is famous for its love hotels and antique stores, so you can take your, your, your loved one to Dogenzaga Tokyo and, uh, stay at a low hotel and have a good time, and then browse the antique shops. The more you know. Um, okay, okay, you win. You guys are tougher than I thought. I think I'll chill with y'all for a bit. Okay, so Beat has joined you. Now, most of the time if you meet a character and you complete their challenge, um, you'll actually unlock them as a playable character. So that's something to note. Um, and now apparently the, the police are on their way. Hey, the cops are going to be here any minute now. I'm going to head over to your garage, if you don't mind. Those cops are pretty hardcore, you know. If you're just a beginner, you're probably better off laying low at the garage, too. Okay, I'm a beginner character. I mean, I just started playing this game. Uh, but you don't even have the option to avoid the police is where I was going to go with that. Um, okay, so we have our first run-in with the cops here. And this will happen quite a few times throughout the game. Uh, basically, what you have to do is just run into them and then spray them. So, I mean, if these cops are supposed to be hardcore, like Beats uh, made them sound, um, they're pretty weak, and we just beat them already. Uh, they don't even use guns or anything. They just uh, try to run after you, I guess. Whoa. There was, like, a couple vehicles that were inside of each other. Um, that was weird. Okay, so, apparently... Alright, Mr. Professor K, you got it. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is head to Shibuya Terminal. Um, so this right here is one of the Graffiti Souls. Um, there are numerous, numerous amounts of those um, in the game, and we're going to... Uh, collect all of them at some point. But what they do, they, they serve a function later in the game, and there's there's actually a point where you're required to collect a certain number of um, graffiti souls. But for the moment, anytime you collect a graffiti soul, it actually unlocks um, an, uh, an extra graffiti, graffiti that you can choose from in the garage. So that's how you change your graffiti. Um, yep, okay, so let's go on to Shibuya Terminal. And let's see what we got. This is Shibuya Terminal, the city's biggest non-stop dance party. Let's hit this joint and cover up that freaky looking graffiti. Alright, so the biggest the biggest dance party in Tokyo or something like that that he just said. Um, and it sure does look like the people around here are dancing their butts off. I mean we got this guy who's just doing the uh, a weird version of the white boy shuffle. We got this lady here in the the purple chain design who's trying to do a primitive version of Gangnam Style. Uh, we got that chick over there who's doing the, the card deal. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Okay, um, so our next objective is to cover the graffiti at Shibuya Terminal, and we just met our first rival gang, 
uh, Poison Jam. So we're going to deal with them in the next part. Um, but before we leave Shibuya Terminal, I just want to spray the, uh, the uh, whatever the name of that point was. This right here, the Graffiti Stop, I think DJ Professor Cake called it. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this part. Uh, if you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And I hope you'll join me next time when we cover up Poison Jam's graffiti in Shibuya Terminal. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then.